Hello and welcome back to the Mindset and Manifesting Podcast. My name is Lena. Today I want to talk about mental diet. I also want to reiterate that what we focus on grows and the importance of awareness and of being the observer. All right, first, before I get into mental diet, what you focus on grows. About two days ago, uh, well, by the time this goes out, it'll have been a couple weeks now. I'm recording this on January 26th uh, to go out. Uh, it'll be the second week in February. So a couple of days ago, I this thought came to me about what I had been focusing on, which was energies. Uh, specifically Mercury retrograde and how I have been feeling lately with the energies. Now, I don't want to get too deep into it, but um, there the energies that are coming um, onto the Earth plane right now uh, have been pretty intense and um, I am more aware now of the effects that the energies are having on me than I would have been even a year ago, six months ago, really, <clears throat> when I didn't truly understand uh, energy fully and what was happening uh, with Gaia, with Earth, and the energy. So this thought came to me, uh, actually I was in my car, and... I realized that for the past probably several months, I have been focusing on uh, like trying to just manage, I guess is might be a good word, the energies that were coming in, the effects on my body and how tired um, I have been feeling, I would say probably in the last couple of months, there have been a couple of days where I have slept the entire day, like literally till like three, four o'clock in the afternoon, which is extremely, extremely rare. Um, and <clears throat> other than that, just feeling uh, exhausted at times. And I knew that I had to do with, <coughs> excuse me, the energies. So I was focusing a lot of time on the energies that were coming coming in and, and trying to manage those and deal with the exhaustion and stuff. And I was driving in the car, uh, running a couple errands for work, and the, this thought just came out of nowhere. You have been focusing on managing the energy so guess what you are getting more of you're getting more of having to manage those energies rather than just uh, allow them allow the energies observe the energies and just not focus on them just let it be really now I do a lot of meditation so uh, I'm I can just be at times. I actually really love that, where I can just sit in meditation and silence and just be. But I got wrapped up in this. Um, these energies are coming in uh, because I've been starting to to see it on Instagram and YouTube and stuff, uh, the ascension symptoms and energies and things like that. So I was focusing on that, and I was getting more of that. Now... For the past couple of days, I haven't felt uh, exhausted at all. Matter of fact, today I feel uh, feel really good. And I just got off a phone call with uh, with an individual that uh, will be uh, a guest on my podcast soon. And it was really nice to connect because I have been thinking about uh, forming more connections lately and having guests here on the podcast. So that was that was really exciting. Um, instead of just being a loner all of the time and being here in my own little bubble, being connect, able to connect with others. I really enjoy others 
viewpoints and others' experiences and things like that. I, I think it's so interesting. We all have something to, you know, to offer here. But anyway, so that'll be coming uh, uh, soon, having a guest here. Uh, we'll, we'll be talking about some things that I haven't talked about here before on my channel. But anyway, what we focus on grows. When we become aware, when we become the observer, it gets easier to notice what we are actually focusing on, right? Sometimes we think we are focusing on one thing when really we're, we are focusing on the opposite. So again, when you become aware, when you become the observer, it gets easier to, uh, to figure out what you're actually uh, focusing on now with the energies and stuff it took me a good several weeks to for that thought to come in your folk you're focusing on trying to manage these energies and stuff and on the exhaustion and how you're feeling so because you're so focused on that you're getting more of that so that was a lesson right um but again it took me it took me a few, uh, several weeks probably two maybe three weeks uh, for that thought to come in and to realize, okay. <laughs> um, so that's then that's where mental diet comes in as well, our thoughts. Mental diet includes those inner conversations we have with ourselves, uh, those thoughts that we have, um, what we consume, whether it be the news or uh, television or YouTube or social media, what we consume when we are out and about in our daily lives, what we consume when we are in our homes and around our families, right? The conversations and stuff that may be going on, what we allow to, uh, to come in to affect us. And as far as mental diet goes, now it get, it can get a little bit tricky because if you're stuck in an old pattern, uh, maybe waking up first thing in the morning and having certain thoughts come in, and then you start this internal dialogue, these conversations you're having internally, and you may not even realize that you're having them until you're kind of able to, again, become aware, become the observer, and start filtering out or not filtering out but observing what you're actually thinking and these inner conversations that you're having with yourself I still have them um, that aren't the inner conversations I really want to be having but they're still born out of habit uh, so I'm still cleaning those up right it's a this is a journey but I catch myself now. Sometimes I don't catch myself right away. Uh, if you know, I'll be st standing at the sink in my bathroom, brushing my teeth or hair or whatever, putting on makeup, and I'm having these, and I'm thinking these thoughts and having these internal conversations, uh, you know, about whatever subject. And then I catch myself on, and I think, is that really what I want to be thinking right now? Is this really the the conversation I would want to be having with? you know, this individual or about this subject, or is this something, again, I really want to experience or whatever. And I catch myself and I'm like, no, I need to change these, uh, this internal dialogue. Uh, so it aligns with who I am and what I want to experience. And I talked about that in a previous episode, aligning with who we are. So mental diet, uh, observing, your inner conversations, catching yourself and making sure that you're only having an internal dialogue um, that aligns with who you are. For instance, um, if I am thinking, if I am thinking to myself about having a conversation about, uh, let me think of something um, about maybe my kids coming for Christmas right? So one of my, one thing I would love is to have my oldest daughter, my son-in-law, and my grandbabies come 
back here to Colorado for Christmas this year. They are currently in Texas. They just moved to Texas. And my third grandbaby is due in April. And my youngest daughter uh, does not live. She lives out of the home. She lives with her father. Just took a couple hours away. My oldest son is here uh, two weeks out of the month. So it's been a long, so it's been a while since I've had all three of my children and my grandchildren in uh, one house for Christmas. I have owned my house uh, for two years now. I bought it in what May of 2019. And I'd really love to have all of my children together. But I find myself sometimes, or I have found myself having these inner conversations about, uh, you know, my oldest daughter, my son-in-law, my grandkids coming here for Christmas. This internal dialogue about uh, having this conversation. I'd like, I'd love to have you guys here, and you know, and, and uh, my daughter explaining why she's not, why they're not able to come, what have you. So having those conversations. And then I'm like, wait a second. I don't want to have a conversation about why they why they aren't able to come. I want to have a conversation about how they would love to come and how they're, they're making plans to come visit. So I had to s s switch that conversation around to have the internal dialogue, hearing the converse, having the conversation that I really wanted to have. All right. Um, observing thoughts. I have noticed now with thoughts. Some thoughts I know are my own, my current thoughts that align with who I am and with what I want, what I want to experience. There are some thoughts that still come through that are very um, obviously of the old story, right? Um, that for whatever reason, they come in, they come in um, to be observed or what have you. And in that moment that they are observed, you look at that thought and uh, I think, okay, this thoughts coming in, this does not resonate with who I am now. This does not align uh, with who I am. So I'm not going to give in to that thought. I'm not going to entertain it. And I'm going to choose to rise to the state of consciousness, embody the state of consciousness of who I am, not the old story. So there are those types of thoughts. Then there are thoughts that come. Um, so the current thoughts, thoughts that are part of an old story that, you know, still filter in or whatever, because all things exist, right? Um, and it, all things exist. So things are just out there. All right. Now, uh, there are also thoughts that come in and they are so, they are seemingly so random. I'm like, what? This thought has nothing to do with anything going on in my life now. It has nothing to do with anything that I want to experience. And really doesn't seem to have anything to do with my past. Where is this thought coming from? Well, we are all connected, all right? Um, we are all part of the same universal consciousness. We're all connected. This is how manifestation um, works. When you manifesting our uh, conversations, text, uh, letters from other people, relationships, what have you, right? You, if you're familiar with the manifesting community and the term everyone is you pushed out, right? Whatever you, uh, or people who talk about telepathy or, you know, things like that. Uh, you put a thought out there, that vibration, and, you know, it's picked up if you want to manifest a free cup of coffee, a uh, free bagel, whatever, uh compliments, parking spaces, you know, close to the shopping center or whatever, you put this thought out there and then those things appear. You get a free cup of coffee or you get uh, compliments all the time. Those thoughts are put out there and people, other people pick up on them. So these thoughts will come in and they're seemingly so random and I observe them 
And I think, where's this thought coming from? And it took me a while to figure out, oh, this is, this thought is just coming in. It's part of um, universal consciousness, I guess, whatever. It's just a thought that exists out there, <laughs> you know, um, in these, in, you know, this dimension or what, what have you. I don't know. I can't explain it fully, right? There's so many things that happen that are tr that are beyond our true understanding and our true comprehension, right? We can try to explain it, but really it's so, um, there's really like no explanation that can fully, fully, fully explain it. So you we just have to do the best that we can in trying to explain or understand something. So these random thoughts, I'll observe on them. I'm like, oh, okay, these, do I want to entertain this? This random thought, right, that is seemingly part of the whole that is just floating out there. Do I want to entertain this thought? Has nothing to do with my life, seemingly. Uh, do I want to entertain it? Uh, is it, in, is it a thought? Is it coming from internally? So there's also those um, things that come from within. But these, again, seemingly random thoughts, being able to observe those and look at them and think, this has nothing to do with my life. And I know it has nothing to do with my life. Um, or seemingly it doesn't. So do I even want to entertain this? So you look at it. And say, no, I don't want to entertain it. And I'm trying to think of an example of, of something. So one, one of those types of thoughts, I guess, is maybe something you would see um, you would see in the news. So it's something happening out like elsewhere that really has nothing to do with you. It's seemingly happening. Um, elsewhere outside of you, maybe in another part of the world, but but it's coming into your awareness. And do you do you really want to do you really want to contemplate it? Um, if you don't, then you know disregard it. So, and then there are the thoughts that come uh, from within your inner being, like you know this is your inner being, your higher self speaking to you and um, it's nudging you to take an action uh, of some sort or it's just uh, answering perhaps an, uh, a question that you have you have thought or you have asked about you know a, a given subject and then you are receiving that answer and again it, it comes from uh, it comes from within it's a very distinct feeling so um, so mental diet, what you, these various types of thoughts, what did we name? We named one, two, three, four, like four or five different types of um, thoughts or ways thoughts may come in. Uh, what you consume, again, on social media, in the news, uh, in your surroundings with your neighbors. And I've talked about this before, my neighbors, uh, one neighbor, uh, talks a lot about what's going on with her health, the health of others, etc. what's going on um, in the neighborhood, so, uh, any negative things that are going on uh, surrounding us, complaining, things like that. So I've had to, as she talks about stuff like that, not like not absorb it, like basically kind of, okay, this is what she's saying, but let me hear something different. And I've noticed uh, since I've started to uh, observe the conversation that way, she's complaining less and less, um, not talking about her health as much, right? And um, so that's great, right? Uh, being able to uh, not react to something and therefore manifest more of it, especially if it's, uh, if it's unpleasant for either me or the other person or people, uh, let's see in your, so 
in your family dynamics, okay? If you're in a household and there's arguments going on or somebody, you know, in your household is saying negative, negative things to you or speaking negatively about themselves or others, you do not have to, like, you don't have to soak that in. You don't have to take that in and you don't have to react to that. You just become the observer. That's all part of mental diet. Your inner conversations, uh, the inner conversations you're having with yourself about yourself, the inner conversations um, you're having internally um, that are uh, conversations you're having within your mind about other people or circumstances, you know, in the world or what have you. It, all of that encompasses mental diet. So if you, if you want to start to experience things that are more conducive with uh, who you are in the life you want to experience, take a look at your mental diet. Become aware. Be the observer. All right? And... Don't allow things that don't resonate with you. Observe them. Don't allow them. Observe them. And by allowing, I mean don't let them soak in and and uh, and change your state of being, change your state of consciousness, right? Um, don't give in to negativity. Don't give in to what you see in the news and, and things like that. Uh, cultivate your own inner experience so it's it's conducive with the with what you want to experience. So uh, I think that was it. What you focus on grows mental diets and uh, awareness and observation. Yeah, I think that's it. All right. So thank you so much for joining me today. If um, you know if you have any questions about mental diets, uh, anything manifesting anything and you want to reach out to me feel uh, please feel free to do so if you are listening to this podcast and uh, you have gone through your own awakening experience um, if you know you have a business and uh, you're in this field of like manifesting or even you know awakening things like that and you feel like um, you could contribute greatly to the conversation uh, on mindset manifesting, you know, awareness, awakening, all of that stuff, uh, and would like to be a guest, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I think uh, I would like, or I don't think, I know, um, because I've been thinking about it for a while, but um, I'd like to start having guests more often here on my podcast. So, that is it for today. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, bye now.